y'all, we're back. And today we're gonna be reviewing number 30, number 29, and number 28 of our Amazing Race winner rankings. All right, let's do it. So we are at number 30. Woo, number 30 is Dan and Jordan. Uh, they won season 16 and two legs. Yeah, uh, season 16 is really interesting one for us because we actually watched that whole season in one 24-hour period. So yeah. we kind of binged it literally all in one day. Yeah. So much of the season is a blur, but there are some things we definitely remember about it. Yeah. And Dan and Jordan are not necessarily one of them. That's true, yeah. Kind of going off of that, they were not memorable. And they were most remembered for just beating Jen and Cord, who were the highlights of that season. Yeah, Jen and Cord were the breakout stars of that season. Uh, they won, I think, five legs. Uh, and they were just the dominant team the entire way through. And so uh, you had a little bit of an anticlimactic winner when uh, they did not win the final leg. Yeah. Um, they did come up with a pretty good strategy to get first-class seats during the final leg without paying for the first class seats. So that was pretty interesting. It was, and you know, credit where credit is due. That was an, kind of an interesting approach. I'm not sure teams have necessarily tried that before, but it worked for them. And so that means they're in the front of the plane for the last leg, yeah. and they maintain that sh uh, short lead over Jet and Cord for the entire uh, rest of that final leg. And that's ultimately what helped them win. So you gotta yeah. give them a lot of credit for that. Definitely. And they were the first Jewish winners too, so that was very cool. Right, so that was sort of significant as far as yeah. that landmark. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that was really a season dominated by the Cowboys. Yeah. But congratulations to Dan and Jordan for pulling out that last uh, leg win. Yes. Moving on to number 29, Flo and Zach. Oh, Flo and Zach. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The... They were a team. Well, they did win, though. Yeah, they won season three and two legs. They won two legs. Um, what do you think about they were Flo one of Zach. the most lopsided teams in Amazing Race history. Absolutely. I mean, Zach was, you know, really good, yeah. sharp, uh, really cool headed. Flo was the opposite of all of that. Yeah. Um, she was very high maintenance and did one roadblock while Zach did all the rest, which were 10 roadblocks. Yeah, so this was one of those seasons that led eventually to the change in the rules where there had to be six roadblocks done uh, by each person, at least. Yeah. Um, and they also did not have very strong competition, especially in the final leg, which their fellow competitors were Terry and Ian and Ken and Gerard, who weren't the strongest of teams. Yeah, I mean, there are good teams, obviously good enough to get to the final three, but then when they're up against a, a really young team like Flo and Zach, yeah. they, they didn't uh, really pose the most uh, difficult challenge for uh, a much younger team uh, yeah. in that final leg. Yeah, and Flo also tried to quit multiple times during the final leg especially, but also just throughout the race as well. Right, and this is one thing that really kind of drags the team down as a whole. Uh, Flo's sort of uh, you know, lack of dedication to wanting to finish the race, uh, kind of throwing tantrums, and then the ultimate was wanting to quit in the last leg of the race yeah. when you have a chance to win a million dollars, which they eventually did, and yeah. she still wanted to quit several times during the last leg, which is kind of <laughs> unprecedented. Yeah. Um, I think we can both agree that according to the edit, at least, Zach was the reason they won. Yeah, Zach pretty much carried that team. There was some suggestions that maybe Flo did more with uh, navigation and planning the trips and, and things yeah. than we were uh, we got to see throughout much of the season. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, uh, this was really Zach just, you know, doing a superhuman effort to carry the team. Yeah. What was impressive, though, was that Flo was the first woman to win and love her for that. Yeah, so, you know, despite all the things that we have just said, she did break that barrier and become the first female Tierra winner. Yeah. So, moving on to number 28. 28. We have Dave and Connor. Dave and Connor. This might be a controversial uh, ranking that some many people may disagree with, but yeah. we feel pretty strongly about it. We're not huge fans of this team. Uh, let's talk about uh, the season that they were in. So they won season 24, which was All-Stars, with, with an amazing cast, by the way. 
and they won six legs. They won six legs. So, you know, on paper, they clearly dominated the season against yeah. such teams like the Cowboys and Globetrotters and Nadia and Nadia. No. Natalie and Nadia. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's a lot of great teams. And uh, Dave and Connor, the father, son team, uh, they, they dominated and they ended up uh, winning it. But yeah. why do we have problems with them then? Well, they were one of the most hard to understand wins in TAR because their last leg, the final leg, was very easy. One of the challenges was screwing in light bulbs, and then another was being dropped onto the finish line. And it just, it was not a competitive leg. Right, it seemed say. designed to help a team that had an older uh, team member uh, be able to win, right? There just wasn't yeah. much strenuous challenge or in really any challenge at all to that last leg. And what makes Dave and Connors win and their domination, I think, more hard to understand is just the quality of the rest of the field. Yeah. And, and so many teams had to underperform for Dave and Connor to be so dominant. Yeah. So it was just, it was, it's just a weird season overall. Yeah. Uh, what else can we say about uh, season 24 and Dave and Connor? Well, Connor did seem fine. He seemed like a chill guy. But yeah. Dave was extremely unlikable from what the edit showed. From what us. the edit showed, yes. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, you know, Connor seemed fine. Uh, Dave was just kind of, um, just kind of cranky, and he got like obsessed about um, his Achilles, which he yeah. had injured in the previous season he was on. He kept bringing it up, and this season was just kind of got annoying. Uh, what else was problematic he, about Dave? He was really mean to Brendan and Rachel, mm. who I love. Love you guys. Um, and it was all just because of one U-turn where Brendan and Rachel clearly saw Dave and Connor as a threat because they won so many legs, so they decided to U-turn them. And then Dave got really angry about that and started talking about them nonstop and became kind of obsessed with them. Yeah, and it's one of the things that annoys us about TR is when someone uh, criticizes another team for using the tools that the game gives you. And so yeah. the U-turn's a part of the game, but Dave turned it into a vendetta and tried to form an alliance against Brenchel uh, because of that one uh, choice that they made, which again is part of the game. Yeah, and they also kind of cheated the game a little bit. They did not do the six roadblock rule. Um, Dave did five roadblocks and Connor did eight, which I don't know what was going on there, but apparently production didn't catch that. Yeah, it just seems to be, you know, in a number of ways, production seemed to really want Dave and Connor to, to win this season. And uh, yeah, when I had heard that, I was stunned, really, because I thought that rule was pretty much in stone. Yeah. And to know that Dave and Connor got to go around that rule uh, and have Dave do uh, an in inadequate number of uh, roadblocks is, you know, it's a little bit disturbing. I think it raises some questions. Yeah, um, they were the first parent-child team to win, so that was very cool. Yeah, so they get credit for that. Again, they broke that barrier, and so we have to give them uh, credit for that. Yeah, and like we brought up before, they won an all-star season with some amazing racers. Natalie and Nadia, Jed and Cord, Brendan and Rachel, Flight Him and Big Easy, and Leo and Jamal. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. But they beat those teams, and so again, we give we have to tip our hat to them. Yeah. So yeah, uh, not uh, this not three teams that we are particularly fond of, yeah. but they all did win. Um, you may uh, think that they should be ranked much higher or not. Uh, and so what can they do if uh, they want to express that? They can, you guys can, post in the comments your views on our rankings so far. And if you want them to be ranked number one, say that. And if, Let us know. Yeah. And if you want to try to guess who we're predicting for number 27, number 26, and number 25, say that too. Yeah. Let us know who you think we're going to be putting next or who would you put next. Uh, it, in this point of the rankings. Yeah. Bye, guys. See All you right. next week. See you next time. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. And where'd she go? I don't know. I said. Hey, y'all. We're back, and today we're gonna be reviewing number thirty-three, number twenty. Uh, <laughs> number 30 <laughs> bloopers. <laughs>